For it had been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than after they have known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered unto them. But it has happened unto them according to the true proverb, the dog is turned to his own vomit again, and the soul that was, was washed, the soul that was washed uh, to her wallowing in the mire. Mercy, okay. mercy, praise the Lord. All right, we just have we just uh, read Second uh, Peter chapter two from verse one all the way to verse twenty-two, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up at Second Peter chapter three, and I'm gonna read from verse one to five. Praise the Lord, and it says. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, uh, the apostles of the Lord and Savior, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. 
for this day willingly are ignorant of that by the word of God the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water. Praise the Lord. God is wonderful. And uh, as it is said, in the last days there will be scoffers. These are people who try to drag us away from doing the things of God. And they do it in many, many different ways. And I love the way how Peter puts it. They try, this is it, that he may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets and of the commandments of us, the apostles, about our Lord and Savior. You know, Christ wants us to do the things that he put down in his word to do. But oftentimes people try to push different things from what Christ have for us to do. And that's why Peter said, I wrote these things to remind you that Christ want us to walk, not in ignorance, but to walk in the ways of God. Also, uh, look where it says that when we know what to do, and pretend as if we are ignorant of it. We ought to be very careful because it is like a dog going back to his own vomit. In other words, we know what to do. We have done the right thing, but we choose to go back to do the wrong thing. It is not right in the sight of God. And I'm not here to say we may not make a mistake, but we should not go back. Like I was chief of all sinners. I, if I found Christ, I should not go back doing all the, 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 the evil stuff that I used to do. It, 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 it is crazy if you, if you go back doing that. And you will not have no lot nor part with Christ unless you repent over again for those sins. And that's what he says. It's like a dog returning to his own vomit. It sounds gross, but that's when we go ahead and turn our backs on Christ. And if I ask Sanchez what that means, it is backsliding. When we turn our backs on Christ. So let us not do that. Let us walk in newness. And stay on the path that leads to everlasting life. It also talks about uh, Noah. And how many people were saved. How many people were saved in Noah's time? All right, nobody. Just eight. And I'm open and trusting that Christ keep me on the path that I need to be on. That when the time comes for him to return and get his people, I'm hoping that all of us on this prayer line, along with our family members, will be in the number. But we need to make sure that we pay attention to what he wants us to do and ask for forgiveness. He will give it to us. It also talks about the twin city. What was the name of the twin city? All right. That was Sodom and Gomorrah. And right now, if you look around, you see Sodom and Gomorrah right in your eyes. Because when the two angels, the two 
angels went into the house, they, the men were trying to knock the door down to get these men. And I'm telling you, what the angels had to do to those men to wear them out. Nobody talking to me this morning. He had to struck them with blindness because they were about to knock down uh, the door of Lot. Let us pay attention to this. There are some things that are fully an abomination to Christ. And he moves swiftly when it comes to that in the past. And if it was an abomination to Christ back then, that means it is. It doesn't matter how well it is dressed up. It is still an abomination to Christ. And if he destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, believe you me, when he destroyed the world, we have to ask for repentance. We must love everybody. We cannot condemn anyone. But at the same time, we have to introduce what the scriptures say and have them look here. Change their ways. That's if they believe in Christ and want to be saved. Let us ask God to help us to show us the right things that he wants us to do and have us do them. It's not easy, but if we put our hands in God's hands, he will lead us. He will have us do the right things. Let us pray for each other because it's not easy, but we can do it with the strength of God. Praise ye the Lord.